everybody welcome in in this video i want to do something a little bit different than usual so instead of creating a part from the book i want to try and create a halloween jack-o-lantern even though i know it's you know it's a little bit past halloween i thought i'd give it a shot so um and also you will learn you will use a lot of inventor tools to create it so you know it's good practice what I want to do is I'm going to go up to new and I'm going to use the English template standard hit the create button and then I'm going to start a 2d sketch on this what is this the xy plane I want to zoom out a little bit I want to start with creating a rectangle and use the two-point center option. So I'm going to click the center for the start. I'm going to drag it out. So I think I want this to be, let me think, I want it to be a little bit wider than tall. So let me have this 18 inches on the bottom tab, 16 inches on the side, not 66. I don't want that 16 tab press enter and then I'm going to change these lines to a construction line because this is my frame here obviously I'm not going to create a pumpkin with a square I mean I guess I could but it'd be kind of awkward all right so I change those to construction lines so that they don't become part of the of the pumpkin and then what I want to do is I want to I'm going to insert an image. I actually have a, what did I call it? Uh, um, pumpkin. Yeah. So I'm going to insert this image onto my sketch here. I'm just going to click to place it. I'm going to right click because I only want one of those. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I can, if I left click and hold down on my mouse button, I can move it around. If I click the very bottom corner where that red dot is, I can click it and hold it. And I can drag this thing to stretch it and make it bigger. I want to try to move this thing as big as I can where it's kind of centered in here. So it's a little bit of, you know, playing around with it. Trial and error. See what I got there. That looks, that looks pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, so... I want to try to get this thing lined up right in the middle. Maybe right about here. Even though it's kind of off-centered a little bit, isn't it? Um, let me move it back. Let's move it back over here. Doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a starting point. So, yeah, that's good. Doesn't have to be exact. All right, so then what I want to do is I want to... I'm going to go under Line. I'm going to click Spline, Control Vertex Option. And I want to try to start like down below here, somewhere, somewhere in the middle, but maybe a little bit to the left of center. And then I'm just going to kind of try to kind of zoom in and kind of click points that will define the kind of outside shape of my pumpkin. It can go outside the line, but try to keep it in here. It's okay if it's kind of wobbly looking. It's not a perfect circle by any means. Try to make this thing. Where is my, where is my center at? Uh, I don't know what I did there. It's kind of funky. All right, so make it sure it goes a little bit past the middle. So I'm going to end it there. And then I'm going to click this image. I don't need it anymore. I can either move it out of the way. I'll move it out of the way for now. Um, you can delete it. I'm going to draw a line from 
I'm going to try to draw it right in the middle there, but I don't want to lock it on anything. Let me, what are you doing to me? I don't know what I can do. I'm going to draw it straight over here. It's trying to lock onto these things. I'm going to draw it straight down way over here. And then I'm going to use my coincident constraint. I'm going to click the middle of this line and the center of this. Boom. And then I can trim out the excess. I don't need this. I can delete it. That's kind of funky flat here. You can you can grab these little dot or dots and you can kind of change the shape of these if you don't like it. I'm trying to make it smooth like you know you can just change these around however you like if one of them gets kind of funky on you. So I'm gonna trim out this piece, that piece, that piece. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, okay, let, yeah, let me click on my image here. I don't, I don't need it, so I'm just going to press delete and get rid of it. Be gone. All right, so then I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to go up to the Revolve tool, hit the Revolve. So it automatically selected my profile because obviously that's the only profile it can select. So, but then I'm up for my axis, I'm going to select this vertical line here. It's going to revolve my pumpkin or it's going to revolve that shape around the axis to form a pumpkin kind of shape. I'm going to press OK. And then kind of look at what it looks like. Kind of looks like a blob. So then what you can do is I'm just going to Go up to my color thing here. You can just look for orange or whatever color you want it to be. Just so it starts to look like a, a pumpkin there. So there's that. And then the next thing, probably what I would do is I'd probably do the shell because we want our pumpkin to be kind of hollow inside. So I'm going to click on the shell tool. Um, for the thickness, maybe it's 0.5. I'm gonna click what I want. So I don't want to remove. I don't want to remove any faces. Uh, I don't want to remove any of those. So I'm just gonna click that. Hit OK. I could not create new shell. Uh, I don't want to remove any faces. So shell, 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 shell. I don't want any faces removed. Uh, hit OK. Oh, I should have just hit OK. I didn't have to click anything. All right, so there we go. Uh, let me look at my view. Look at my wireframe. So yeah, it kind of it, it made it hollow inside. Probably most pumpkins are a little bit thicker than that on the inside. But. Let's see what we can if we can edit the feature, make it like 0.75. That's probably a little better. All right, so then I would go back to my view. I'm gonna change this back to shade with edges. Look at a 3D view. So then probably what we can do is we can add the stem on top, and then we can slice we can slice that kind of the top part to make a, a lid like you would normally when do when you would, you know, try to uh, carve your pumpkin and get all that goop on the inside out of it. All right, so how I would go about creating the stem part, I would, I'm going to go up to my origin here, a little plus sign next to it. I want to turn on the visibility of this X and Z plane. So I'm going to right click here, click the visibility. Wait, that's not it, this one. I want this one, the X is E, click the visibility on it. So that's the one I want. The one that's flat going all the way through. And then what I want, I'm gonna go up to my 3D model where you see plane. I'm gonna click the arrow underneath plane. And I wanna click on tangent to surface and parallel to plane. So I'm gonna click on this flat plane here. And I'm gonna click on the, the top of the uh, pumpkin here. So I get a, a work plane that sits right on top of our pumpkin. Um, I can, I'm going to turn the visibility off of this other plane that 
is in the middle now because I don't need that. And then I can start my 2D sketch on this plane on the very tippy top. And then what I'm going to do here is, I mean, you can draw a circle to make your stem. I'm going to kind of do the spline thing again. And so there's my center of my, my uh, pumpkin there, kind of like. And then I'm just going to kind of sketch a uh, kind of random shape. If I was looking at the top of a stem kind of sticking out of a pumpkin, just to make it not circular, but kind of a blobby shape. Like so, that's not too bad. And then I can, uh, let's see, finish my sketch. And I want to extrude this thing up maybe two inches. 2.5, it's, kind of, it's kind of an eyeball, like a visual thing. That looks pretty good. And then you can even taper this thing where it tapers in or out as you extrude it up so it's not just like straight up. So maybe it's, I don't know, point, not point 0.5, 5 degrees. You can go out with it. Or if you give it a negative 5, it'll go in, which hmm, I'm not really sure what I want to do. What if I want to do 10? Make it go way out. I do kind of like that. I'm going to go 10 right there. So I'm going to click on that. All right. So then let me turn this plane off. The visibility of it off to get it out of our way. All right. So we could, we could do a fillet to where it's kind of the stem meets the pumpkin. It's kind of filleted around. So, um, if I click on fill it, I want to click this middle option here, the face fill it. So you need to select the faces. So it's going to be face one. Let's see if I click face one, face two would be the stem itself. Maybe I want it to be. Yeah, like that, but I don't want it to be that much of a radius, maybe 0.5. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hit apply there. So there we go. So there's our stem kind of sticking up out the top of there, our pumpkin, which really is kind of the, like the lid handle. Um, you could color this like a brown. So if you wanted to, you could look at the front view here. It's going to select that kind of top part and you can go up here in the colors and kind of pick, you know, a color that you like for whatever you want your stem to be. I find that you get more options of choices if you click the Autodesk Appearance Library. So now you have a whole bunch of different kind of options. So I don't know, maple mystic brown. You'll have to play around with these in trial and error to kind of get one that you like. Cause some of these are some of these are either too dark, they're too light. It might take a while, but maple chocolate brown. I don't know. I just want a brown color. That's really all I want. Look for wood or whatever, but Let's see, I don't want to take too long looking for something, but you get the idea. You can just kind of play around with these. There's a dirt, dark brown. Oh, okay, I forgot to choose my stem. I just did an undo to get that back. Do, do, do. Make sure you select what you want to uh, sh shade or shadow. What am I trying to say? Otherwise, it's going to color the whole thing like it just did. So, I don't know. What am I looking for? Hmm. Brown. There's a brown. I'm just going to leave it at that. We'll leave it at that um, for now. So then, that's the second part. All right, so what I, what I really want to do is I want the pumpkin to be like one part and then the lid be another part. So that can, one kind of fits on top of it. You can you can take the lid off and if you want to lift it up and look inside or whatever. Um, 
So I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. You could you could try to create a, a the pumpkin part and then cut the, the top off of it and then try to make a part to fit on it. But to me, that, that just gives me kind of nightmares thinking about that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, and I don't even know if this is the best way, but I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make a plane, or I can, this plane here. I see the one that I did. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn the visibility of this plane here on. What I want to do is I want to offset from plane. So I'm going to pick this plane here. And then I'm just going to kind of get, take this arrow and drag it up. Like, where do I want the top, that lid to be? Where do I want to cut that lid at? So, um... And probably what I want to do is look at my a wireframe view so I can kind of see what's going on there. So maybe about here is where I want that lid to be cut. So I'm just going to hit the check mark here. Let me go back and make this thing colored in again. So what I want to do is I want to slice this pumpkin and kind of use that, that work plane that it's created. That's kind of like the blade of where that is going to slice it through. So what I, what I did was I created the plane where I wanted it. Now I'm going to go to solid model. I want to go to split. And then so the tool that I want to use to split is going to be this work plane here. And then it says I want it. I want it says solid selection is off. I'm going to turn this on. So that it kind of cut this whole thing through. And so here you can either, if you want to keep both sides, if you want to, if you want to split the solid and keep the, and keep the default side. So you would, I think this one would keep the lid and get rid of the pumpkin. And this option here would keep the pumpkin and get rid of the lid. Or it's either vice versa. But what I want to do is I want to keep them both. So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that that one is selected. And then let's see if I hit OK here. You can kind of see it kind of cut. It kind of cut that part there. But see, the only problem is I can't grab this and raise it up. So what I want to do is I'm going to... Let me turn off the visibility of these planes here. All right, so here's what I want to try. I want to try to... I'm going to go back to the split that I just created. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to edit feature. So instead of it, instead of um, keeping both, I want to, I'm going to try something. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to just pick the, the first option, whatever that is. I'm not sure which one is going to get rid of. We'll, we'll find out. So I'm going to click this one and then I'm going to click OK. So that's going to be the lid. So I'm going to up here, I'm going to go to file, save as, make sure you save as. I'm going to call this pumpkin lid. And I'm going to hit save, right? And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to, um, so then I'm going to go back to my split here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit feature. This time I'm going to click the second option here and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now we got our, our pumpkin. So then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm just going to call this Pumpkin Body and hit Save. So now I have those as two separate parts. I have, I have Pumpkin and then I have Pumpkin Lid or Pumpkin Body and then Pumpkin Lid. Yeah, so... I don't know, that's that's a way to work around it. So then what I can do is I can just kind of, if I want to carve out the eyes and the mouth and all that good stuff, so I could, um, for this, I'm in the pumpkin body, I can turn on this vertical plane here, the XY plane, make it visible. And then I could, let's see if this will work, if I go to, Tangent to surface and parallel to plane. I'm going to pick this plane. I'm going to pick this side of the uh, the front side of the uh, pumpkin. And then I can get rid, turn off the visibility of this. Then I, what I'm going to do is just going to sketch my face onto this plane. So I'm going to start 2D sketch on this plane. 
And then you can just kind of draw the mouth and the eyes, the outline for the nose, whatever you want to put on here. Just make that sketch and then you would extrude cut it into your your pumpkin. And like I said, you can kind of get creative, do whatever you want. So just as a quick example, um, I am going to, I'm going to attempt to just create something real super easy here. I don't know, make it triangles for the eyes. And they don't have to be all lined up either because, so there's one, make another. I probably don't want to have them even. I don't want this to be symmetrical or anything. I want this to look like it was kind of created with a cutting knife and it was not some kind of fancy machine that did it. Let me extend these to where they meet like that. We can make a another triangle for a nose here. For the mouth, you can get kind of super creative. So let me, I'm just gonna draw kind of a smiley face here, I don't know. Um, hit the check mark there, maybe up here, I don't know, I'm just drawing some kind of weird stuff, just so you can kind of see the idea, that's probably the most jankiest looking mouth, but, alright, so then if I finish my sketch, I can extrude these shapes, back or I'm going to cut them and just make sure that they go far enough back into the pumpkin, maybe three, maybe even five. That's probably good. Um, you could even give this a kind of a slant to it. Let's try one degree. That's the wrong way. Negative two, maybe. Something like that, then hit OK. So there is our our face that we have. It's not too bad, really. It's not really scary, but if I had more time, I could, could do it better. But um, so then we have our our pumpkin body. Let's turn off the work plane here. Let me save this thing. I'm gonna go to file, save. And then let's see if we can put these two together. I'm gonna go to File, New, English, Assembly. Let's see if I can find these two pieces because I didn't make a project folder at the beginning. I should have made a project folder and put those two pieces in there, but I'm gonna place. We're gonna go to Pumpkin. I got so many parts in here. Let's go to, that's not it, that's not the one. Oh, here, pumpkin body. This one, just gonna throw that in somewhere. Right click, hit OK. I'm gonna, let me ground this. I'm gonna right click, hit grounded, so it's not gonna move. Then I'm gonna place the pumpkin lid. Where are you at? Where are you at? Right here, the pumpkin lid. It may be hard getting this kind of rotated where I want it, but let's see, it's here. And then I can constrain this. Um, so I want it to do it, the mate option. So I want this top face here to be constrained to this flat surface here. And then hit apply. So I can still, I can't, I can't lift it up off. I can't lift it up or down, but I can still move it left and right. So maybe we could turn on the, the um, let me go down here, turn on the planes. I'm not sure if they're lined up. They should be. So I'm gonna right click the XY plane. Let me move this way over here. And then for the pumpkin lid, I'm gonna do the same thing. 
turn on the visibility of this plane. But we should line up. Yeah, that should line up. So then if I constrain the planes here, um, look for where the arrow, so the arrow is pointing to the right here. It's pointing to the right, so I need these two. Like that, hit apply. And then we would just turn on the XY plane. Turn these off. Turn off this one. Um, which other one did I do? Pumpkin lid, pumpkin body. Yeah, I don't need that. So I want to turn on the YZ or the XY plane. So now I can just align these two planes and they'll, it should constrain itself. That one, that one. Hit apply, turn these planes visibility back off. They've served their purpose. There we go. Yeah, so if then if we wanted to do a presentation drawing, we could kind of show the lid, lift it off, and we could move it and set it down or do whatever we wanted. So that is pretty cool. Go to visual style. You could do a perspective, you could make it photo booth. We could add, I already kind of added the colors to it. So that's kind of neat, I think. So yeah, let me look at this from this direction. Zoom in on it. Yeah, so just make sure you save it. So I'm gonna save this assembly. Save as, or save pumpkin assembly or jack-o-lantern assembly let's call it that jack-o-lantern there we go and I'm gonna hit okay to save all these all right so yeah I want to see what you create so if you create your pumpkin face jack-o-lantern face I want you to show me what you came up with so yeah, I'm interested to see your, your creative designs. All right, peace out.